Hello friends, welcome to this operating system class and in this class we will see the principles of protection that will come under 5th unit. So in today's class we will see what is the principles of protection and principles of least privilege, fine-grained access control and role-based access control. Principles of protection. The principles means defining the rules and regulation that controls the access of programs, process, and users to the resources, okay, defined by the computer system is referred to as principles of protection. Okay, here, the principle can be used to throughout the project or throughout the design of operating system. We have to follow and implement these principles uh, from the starting to ending of uh, project designing as well as the operating system designing. Okay, following this principle, which simplifies the design decisions and keep the system consistent and easy to understand. So, the documenting principle is very, very important. And the principle commands the programs, users and systems. And be given the privileges to perform that task. That is, the principle will provide rights to perform their task. Uh, let us see one analogy that is a security guard with pass key. That is, we are having many areas. For all the areas, a security guard is there. Okay, the security guard is having one pass key. One pass key. This particular security guard is going to guard this particular area, right? Suppose if the pass key is misused, then only this particular area will be affected. That is, Damage is very minimum. Suppose if the same pass key is used for all the other areas, that is misused for all the other areas, then what will happen? That is lost, stolen, misused, copied or otherwise compromise will be much greater. Hence, the designing of principles of protection is very, very important. When come to designing an operating system, uh, it should follow the principles of least privilege which implements its futures programs operating systems that is system calls and data structures so that the failure or compromise of components does the minimum damage so we have to implement or we have to follow the principle of least privilege isn't it so if it is least then the damage will also be minimum here, the overflow of a buffer in the system demand that might cause the process to fail. And we should not allow, okay, we should not allow the execution of code from the demand process stack. What will happen? Otherwise, it will enable the remote user to gain maximum privilege and access the entire system. So, we need to protect our system from the remote user to access the uh, entire system that will cause a very big damage and next let us see the fine grained access control here uh, the operating system provides the system calls and services we have already seen the system calls and services of operating system which allows application to be written in fine grained access control and this particular technology provides to enable the privilege when the users are needed or disable the privileges when they are not needed. Okay, for this purpose, the fine-grained access control is important. And the next one is the audit trial, which allows the programmer, the system administrator, or law enforcement officer to trace all protection and security activities on the system. Role-based access control, that is, creating a separate account for each user with just privileges that the user needs. So based on the user's requirement, we can give access to all the users. And some system implements the role-based access control to provide this functionality. Okay, That is, computers implemented uh, in computing facility under the principle of least privilege that can be limited to running a specific services that is 
a particular user should run are you used to, to access only a specific services and accessing specific remote host via specific services and doing so that is doing all these things during the specific time that is which user can access which particular resource at what time and by using which particular resources okay that is which particular system all these things should be defined by using this role based access control these restrictions are implemented through enabling or disabling each services and through using the access control list here we are having three different types of people owner first one is owner owner means who created the file is the owner who is the owner of the, the created data okay owner and second one is group group means a set of users who share the file okay and needs a similar access in a group or work group that is group means a people who are all working under same project hence they will share the common data and the next set of people is called as universe universe means all the other users in the system constitute the universe the people who are all involved in the project are called as universe so based on the role the corresponding privilege will be assigned to the particular user okay so far we have seen the principles of protection from the fifth unit and in this class we have seen that the principles of least privilege fine grained access control and the role based access control in the next class we will see the domain of protection thank you